Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to The Philosopher King, a RimWorld royalty series of benevolence. Here's a little recap of the rules and goals that we have for our community, and then of course the projects that you all have voted on in the past. Now today is going to be another poll day. So at Radamont.com or the announcements section of Discord, or really just the info card at the top right of the screen, you'll be able to go cast your vote. Thank you for doing so in advance. I did receive two tips from you all. Uh, one tip is that I might need another cook um, because a lot of our cooks are laid up sick. And then the other tip is to make sure that Poppy finishes said sniper rifle rather than cranking out more blocks. So I'll be getting that done in short order. Um, Goals for this episode would be to secure the walls, secure our border. Uh, I think that's a pretty important one. That one is paramount. Um, and in doing so, I will have satisfied some of the security goals. Now, of course, I did mention that this kill box is temporary, and it still is. I do plan on moving it, changing it significantly. But I feel pretty good if I manage to get all these walls up, constructed, and uh, having it protect us. So, that that's that's the goals, I would say. Uh, taking a look at my quests here, I've got the Shaka goodies, uh, which I don't think I, uh, I don't think I'll, I'll necessarily want to be doing immediately. Um, mostly because I've got other problems at home. I've got Psychic Droners, and uh, and they need to get cleared out. All right, so the sniper rifle that Poppy made was a masterwork. Perfect. I was basically hoping for something like that. The art of this, engraving on this weapon is shaped like a ghost face abstract shape. Okay. The image somehow expresses both terrorism and togetherness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in addition to that, four salamanders appear in the lower part of the image. So, yes. Communal terrorism via um, salamanders. All right, that's 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 pretty interesting. Uh, so I right now have the cranking out of granite blocks as a sole goal. Oh yes, uh, another one of the issues now that let's take Mathis off of cooking. We don't need more food poisoning. Uh, Bubaloo should, in short order, be finishing up the deep drilling. And then I'm going to get ground penetrating radar, and that's going to enable the requirement I have for uh, prosthetics, to be able to feed prosthetics to our people. Another thing I might want to do is um, I'm actually going to cancel this lower wall and scoot it down a little bit. Uh, I know it's a lot of work, but uh, I don't I don't care. It's better to work harder and get it right. Alright, so this instead is going to be uh, the walls. And then I'll put the... Uh, the sort of corner boxes. Now I wanted to mention that this is very, very, very much, and I can't stress this enough, a work in progress. Uh, this is in no way what the final wall will look like. I'm sure it will change and adapt over time, uh, becoming more fortified as our community requires protection. Uh, this is just, this is just the first crack at what I would consider some sort of border wall to keep us protected. Uh, but not the final one. Certainly not the final one. And the reason why I am expanding out um, is I don't want the wall to share with the farm. Uh, that is actually going to make it more difficult to keep us protected specifically from sappers. Alright, so here zero goes. Helping to... Oh, and we just contracted the flu. Wow, I got to say... I got to say, a lot of diseases up in this community, especially given that I am not in a swamp, nor am I in a tropical rainforest, 
Um, all right, well, King Bob is going to be in bed with Faustopia. Uh, flus aren't anything to mess around with. In this day and age, with everything going on in real life, I think uh, I think that that may be a little obvious to many. Wow, already you just contracted and you're already vomiting everywhere. Holy moly, that is a rough flu. Okay, so they're tended to, and they're going to be uh, laying in bed, resting up, healing up. Alright, why are you so slow? Oh, you have major food poisoning, and then of course a wounded leg. Poppy, however, uh, has a shoot frenzy. So at least somebody's happy. Uh, the animals that I've got... I'm going to queue up a whole bunch of uh, granite hauling so they can help to protect our walls. Man, everybody is sick. Oh, this is just... <laughs> This is like the Stand By Me pie eating contest or something. Everyone has food poisoning and the flu and worse. Ugh. Sorry guys. I somehow feel at fault. Everyone's... Alright, so, so some people are still operating health, healthy and happy, but uh, most people are not. <laughs> oh man, this is brutal. Right, Mathis is gonna have to wake up in the middle of the middle of the night to tend to our flu bedridden friends. Rego the lake, walking on over. All right, let's do some tending. Uh, they are going to need food needs, too, pretty soon, I think. Alright, um... I'll wait till morning. No, oh, another thing I wanted to do is to make sure that my border walls did not get roofed up. That is a recipe for a hot disaster. Um, maybe at some point I want to roof them up uh, to keep people dry from rain or something, but uh, for now, no roof. No roof necessary. Alright, Mathis, you are the only doc right now, so I'm going to assign you to feeding. I think what I'm going to start to do is the lavish meals. Um, as long as I'm able, I'm going to have Bubaloo start to become somewhat of a vegetarian. Uh, mostly just to save myself the meat. Because we have a lot of milk, and uh, it is stockpiling up fast. So I'm going to start making lavish meals out of, um, you know, like rice pudding, right? Like milk and, and uh, rice. So some of these border walls are getting done. I think I'm going to throw in uh, some doors to allow them... Freedom of movement. All right, that all looks well and good. At some point, I'll make these symmetrical and I'll probably uh, power them up so that they're auto doors, so that they can open and close quickly. 
The heat wave is over. Uh, the warg is extreme. Uh, it's because... Wait, you're unrestricted? I actually don't know why you are so uh, malnourished. This, in truth, does not uh, make sense to me. Because Beer God being a... Oh, stuck to animal grazing. I understand. All right, I'm going to stick you on animal hauling. There was no available food, and uh, given that that warg is young, uh, it wasn't hunting for itself. My bad. I have I fixed it. The, uh, the food needs have been met. So we have a ton of small statues. Uh, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to run these... Um, oh, let's start training and hauling, too. Uh, to run these as a trade offering for the royals or something like that. Uh, but I'm not going to really do that until Bubaloo is well. Bubaloo is not currently well. So we have a lot of work going on. But uh, work has definitely been a slowdown due to sickness. Again, reflecting uh, pretty one for one with current world events. Drawing some parallels here with how much sickness I've been um, plagued with. So, uh, flu. We are well into the immunities for both these guys. I'm not that worried that they're going to succumb to their illnesses. That seems uh, a might bit unlikely. Uh, zero. I think at this point... We probably have enough steel. I'm going to cancel. I guess I could have just reprioritized uh, construction over mining. But uh, I'm going to have zero start helping on the walls. Now, I have a lot of sort of variety of wounds in this community uh, that I very much would like to heal. And that is reliant upon deep drilling and ground penetrating radar, which we don't currently have. Uh, Denishi, why are you fighting an alpaca? There's meat right here for you. I don't know. Strange animal. So Mathis and Zero should be tag teaming the walls. Ugh. But we just got food poisoning again. Wow. This has been a right difficulty trying to stay vertical. Now our only doctor has food poisoning. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, because he also needs to tend to them. <laughs> oh, oh god. Well, it looks like Chris is making some progress on these walls, and Zero ought to be too, now that Zero is no longer mining. So let's take a look at you. You are relaxing socially. All right. Okay, now you're building. There we are. And he's a he's a he's a damn genius, a region leading master at construction. So having zero uh, at the helm to construct our walls and the like, uh, it ought to be pretty fast. How are we doing now? 66 immunity and 65 immunity. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well indeed. All right, zero is throwing the walls together right quickly. This is a big project, but one that really needed to get done, especially given that I need to satisfy the castle requirement. And I promise this will look more like a castle as time goes on. Good job, Poppy. Wow, you are really cranking through those granite blocks. Which is good. She's not exactly mobile now that she's got a bum leg, so it's uh, very helpful that, um, that she can sit at a crafting bench. 
Looks like our moods are actually really high. Um, much thanks to the wedding that we had. Okay, uh, flu could be tended. It's weird that the uh, Bubaloo demands authority even when he's critically sick. Like, you'd think you'd just be like, yeah, I don't feel well, I'll sit in bed. Um, but nope. That is one of the requirements. All right, so Fear God, you, your malnutrition is gone now entirely. Which is very good. We're going to have tons of little sculptures, statues, uh, that Talon has been working on. A part of me thinks that maybe I ought to... Whoa. You know, uh, hell with it. Most of the construction projects I got going on right now, if Talon fails at, it's not a big deal. It's just wood or blocks. Uh, so I'm going to put him on construction. He has a burning... Or he has a, a slight passion in construction. He just is really, really terrible at it. So I suspect he's going to botch a lot of jobs, but like, at the end of the day, I don't really care, because, um, it's, he'll level up, and that's, that's what matters. Yeah, if he wastes some wood, or some stone, or some metal. Now, it'd be very different if he was working on something that required components, but at present, I don't have anything that requires components. I have no pro projects like that, so it's really not that big of a deal. Um, you know, if I was... It'd be a little bit different if I had, uh, if I had, you know, uh, solar panels or something like that, where botching them would be really, uh, detrimental. Alright, major break, bro, oh, because you're not being fed, yes. Uh, Mathis does not like to be doctor all by himself, I don't think. He's kind of regretting it. Because he needs to eat and tend. And we haven't even really visited. Um, visiting, you know, meaning to... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm assuming you know what visiting means. Alright, so instead of a wooden wooden wall temporarily, let's just uh, put a door there. Uh, there will need to be a little wooden wall here. Um, but that's alright. Alright, this bad boy is coming together. Oh, uh, they got out of bed. Are you... Oh, immunity? And immunity. Good, 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 good. Alright, that means that we're going to have a lot more people uh, able to help out around the community. Being down two, three people due to food poisoning, malaria, flu, uh, gut worms. I've had a lot of uh, these sort of sicknesses hit recently. And boy, it is not fun. Um... Zero, I would like you to smith and tailor, over construct, uh, but get to constructing before you mine. Alright, so it's really uh, starting to come together. We have the southeast to do, and the south to do, but a lot of these walls are really uh, taking shape and form. Combat supply flying overhead. They are associated with a faction. Um, I do have a fair bit of uh, trade goods. I don't think I have any inspired trade in my community. Let's see. Go Frenzy, Recruit, Shoot Frenzy. Okay, so that means, Bubaloo, you are going to be talking to the combat supplier. It says you're unhealthy, but you still get a 21% discount, which is pretty good. Um, flesh Shaping would be fun to unlock, but uh, not really all that important in the scheme of things. It's mostly aesthetics, but it would actually, if we were missing a nose, uh, would help. Um... Yes, but these guys will buy my statues, and I totally wouldn't mind having all of the silver. So I suppose that's the route. 
Now, I'm a little tempted to get the Cataphract Helmet because it is a very tough helmet. It's very high sharp damage, um, and it doesn't slow you down. But uh, they also have they have a Doomsday Launcher. Do, a Doomsday Launcher might be like a good um, we're all gonna die. What am I gonna do? Type weapon to purchase. So I'm gonna buy that instead. It does leave me with a little bit extra silver and uh, left over that I can put towards something else. Uh, let's see. What is everyone working on? Zero is making a cowboy hat. And I'm just making sure everybody is staying productive. Zero certainly is. He paves at the speed of light. Another thing I think I'd like to do is mine out the mountains that are uh, sort of blocking me. But I'll do that after I get the walls up. The walls are going to take priority in my mind. How's our meat? Oh, it has dried up. So, wildlife. Um, I'll go after the big game first. Who is shooting right now? Fastopia? Nope. Who's hunting? Chris? Yeah. And someone else. Dame, uh, you are hauling. Oh, Math has killed the grizzly bear. All right. I just wanted to make sure that if they somehow accidentally aggroed the animal, that there would be backup, um, timely backup close to them. Because that could be very, very important. You don't want to die to a manhunted animal. It, uh, it don't, it doesn't feel good. Let me tell you. Very pretty. Once I have the external walls constructed, the next step uh, I take will be to secure um, or to sort of change the core of the base in a way. Oops, speech from the throne. And a Meg Sloth wants to eat Mathis. I think Mathis is going to win this fight. Who's starving? Oh, zero starving. He's like, ah, speech from the throne. I'd rather eat some food. And I don't really blame him. All right, so your last few speeches have been uninspiring and terrible. Bubbaloo, you owe us some sort of morale booster here. Please. What's a little strange is that Zero gets uh, a boost, because surely Bubblu is probably not signing. But maybe just seeing everybody together as a community is a boost enough. Encouraging. Well, that is a positive take. So, I believe that's what a plus, plus four? Yep. That is a start. So the western wall, um, there's a significant amount of it that needs to get broken down. And then almost entirely so the southern wall needs to get constructed. Another thing, if Yan Shui, if you uh, don't have farming tasks, it wouldn't hurt 
to assist with the trimming of the, the trees. Uh, where are you exactly? Uh, you're replanting some, some hay. I'm going to disallow sowing for a bit because we are getting a ridiculous amount of hay right now. And uh, I don't think I need more. Alright, so deep drilling finally got done. Uh, ground penetrator radar is going to be next. Those two go hand in hand. You can't really do one with the other without the other. Looks like we're working on the southern wall now. And our wargs getting nicely trained up. Beer God is soon going to be able to haul. Six out of seven. Now, in the back of my mind, I keep telling myself, man, this has been a really peaceful episode. What's going to go wrong? <laughs> That's what I always worry. I do have the backup squads. Uh, if, you know, something was to go uh, awry. Well, Bubaloo, um, as soon as you get your authority, please get back on that research bench. I know you have cabin fever. Oh, you also want Praetor-specific clothing. Um, yes, so let's go do that. We're going to make you a top hat. Uh, your top hat will be made of... Mm, cloth. The reason I'm doing cloth, um, Bubaloo wants to... Try to go leather free. Maybe I'm just, um, you know, butchered animal seems a cruel way to wear clothing, at least to Bubaloo. The rest of them, he doesn't care. But this is just the way he feels. Playing poker in the dark. All right, Talon's helping to build. Uh, Talon, what is your skills at now? Two, three? Ooh, it's going up. He's almost four now. Yeah, this was definitely worth it. Large, large projects that require a lot of resources that aren't valuable. Really good to train up um, constructors, for sure. All right, so now he has his, uh, he's got his Praetor specific clothing. Uh, and I'm sure he's going to complain again. That's, that is his right, I guess. We'll just have to continually deal with that. The southern wall looks to be... It's gotten there. Oh, Shay, you were having an... Uh, yeah, so the other issue is our community now spans a huge expanse. Um, meaning that the cleanup require is... Uh, it's high. There's a lot of filth that will be generated from these, uh, these tiles. Now, they speed us up. They keep us protected. They keep us fireproofed. We do have a double fireproof wall, except for this little corner that needs to be drained. But we have more or less a fireproof wall between us and the outside world. Uh, but of course, the other issue is it is very costly to keep clean. Yes, there are mods that do it, but this is a mod-free series, so that isn't really being considered. I think... No, actually, Talon, I'm going to keep you on construction so you get better and better at it. Um, just to make sure that Beer God, you are no longer... Oh, and you're able to haul. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We only have two animals that don't haul, and they are producing all of this beautiful milk. So, the pets are really earning their own keep, I think, is one way to put it. Oh, and we're going to get another warg out here soon. Now, at some point, I might want to sell the warg puppies. Um, they are expensive to upkeep. They're not free. And I have to continually hunt to make sure that they stay fed. 
which is uh, which is expensive. It ties my people up in doing hunting tasks. Now that does help to raise their shooting, um, so there is some benefit to have to feed. Oh, a defoliator ship to the northeast, and unfortunately for me, it is a bunch of centipedes. Um, well, ho hum, ho hum. Um, and they're all heavy charge blasting centipedes. Yeah, this is definitely something that backup, uh, free backup is going to be necessary. Uh, one of the things I was thinking of, perhaps, is to try to befriend Empire of Spirit and then call them for military aid. Uh, that would be another alternative uh, way to do it. And the Psychoid Plants just had a super blight. All right, so now it's an attack on plants. First it was an attack on our health and now an attack on our plants. Uh, Yan Shui, you've got some work to do up in that farm, I think. Uh, so if I wanted to befriend them, I would have to deliver uh, gifts to them, which is something I could definitely do. Especially if I retasked Talon to go back to art. So as much as Talon likes um, construction, he also will do art, and he has a passion for art as well. So we'll have him do both. So this defoliator ship will slowly emanate. Um, here, let me see. It will slowly emanate plant killing, uh, you know, around the source until it eventually will reach our hay fields and, and the and the like and the rest. Alright, let's uh let's not allow sowing, because this is now spreading to my corn. Uh please cut the plants quickly. No 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 don't don't re sow here either. Just cut. Now almost all of the um almost all of the psych oh uh no you're not done. Almost all the psychoid leaves had um, had been infected at the start of this plague, so they were a foregone conclusion. There was no there was no saving them, but everything else can be saved, like this corn. Okay, there, light is done. Now another really important thing will be to get a fully built wall um, for when the... Oh, Exotic Goods Trader passing overhead. Not affiliated with any faction. Sh sure. Well, I really would like their Neutramine. Plasteel... Skin hardening sounds wonderful. Even the metabolism sounds really great. But I can't really afford any of it unless I forego things I don't I'm not too keen on selling. But is there anything else? What else would they what else are they buying? They're not buying clothing or leathers, so that doesn't really matter. They only want exotic animals, so that doesn't help. Um, I don't want to sell my plasteel. <sighs> yes. I could sell the teas. Yeah, let me do that. Because I can always whip up some more tea. had so many little stacks of uh, components. I really need to do like a full organizational uh, overhaul. Uh, do they? Would they buy milk? 
Actually, that would be a pretty good idea. Let's see if they buy milk, too. Because I have a ton of milk. Uh, yeah, it leaves Bubaloo having to eat meat again, but he would do that for his community. Oh, and they also buy uh, Ambrosia. I can sell some of the Ambrosia because I don't need as much as I have. Uh, they don't buy the milk, but they buy Ambrosia. Right, let's reinstall this here. King Bob. Right, I do believe this gives me skin hardening. Uh, Yan Shui, all this here. Let's call them back. Nope, nope, call them back. Alright, so I have enough... Oh, wait, that's not plugged in. I have enough now to buy the skin hardening, which is uh, a very important tech to keep us safe. I barely can afford it, but um, I think it's going to be a pretty important one, personally. How's my walls looking? So the southern wall is looking fairly completed. I'm just going to break down this one. They're not going to destroy the old wall before the new wall is uh, done and ready, so that's fine. Oh, we had an electrical fault. Bubaloo, that's your research room. How about you put that out? Sounds like some hunting is going on, which is definitely going to slow down the progress of the construction. Uh, all of the ambrosia from that grow zone died off. Did I have other grow zones for ambrosia? Maybe I didn't. Man, that one Ambrosia patch was very uh, productive, I've got to say. All right, Psychic Soothe Mail. And in a dignified throne room. Now, um, the thing about moods is the moods, as you can see, don't change while you're sleeping. So if I have an undignified throne room, it's kind of fine to be undignified until, of course, Bubbly wakes up. Um, but I'm working on that. Alright, let me uninstall this, because I'm no longer trading with that uh, exotic goods. Alright, this kitchen looks a bit dirty, so we'll get it cleaned up. So now our lavish meals are just made of milk, rice, and berries. Um, very animal friendly. Yeah, you can say, oh, veganism, yeah, like, milk is cruel, but these yaks, these yaks don't have a bad life. I don't think. What do I know? Uh, another exotic good trader. Wow, okay. So it's the season of trades. Uh, sure. Bubble deliver that beacon. Uh, another thing I want to do is apply the tech print. Where did it go? If I was a tech print, I would be right here. So the tech print, like, let's see. He has 25-4. He's going to go up to level 18 as a result. Um, all right, so this new exotic goods has pretty much the same stuff being offered. Now, the real unfortunate part, in my opinion, at the very least, is um, we don't have any uh, we don't have any lungs or any organs of of this sort. Uh, but I do, I can sell uh, Talon's art for some silver, because I, I just bankrupted my silver supply. What I really want is a bulk goods trader to come by, because um, bulk goods trading, I would be able to sell a lot of the clothing that I don't necessarily need or want. Alright, ground penetrating radar is done. Uh, let's see. The Bionic Replacements is going to be very, very, very important. The first thing I want to do is to get Ground Penetrating Radar constructed. Uh, the trouble is, because I don't really know the final, um, floor print, I, it's hard to say where I want to put this thing, right? Because everything is, 
in flux. So I'm just going to put it over here. I know it will be out of the way. And over there, you know, we can have it built and, uh, and manned. Alright, so the thing about the power claws, the power claws now slow down your movement speed. Uh, which means... I just want revenge. Which means uh, power claws aren't a great hand replacement unless you think you're going to do a lot of brawling. Way. I forgot you had the scar to your leg, but uh, still, you wounded the donkey enough that you're outrunning it. So I suppose that's fine. Now, in foggy rain, our accuracy goes down significantly enough that it made it difficult for Yanshui, who's actually a expert shooter, to even take down that donkey. Um, that's just the way it is sometimes. I am also eager to have the double strand get done. All right, uh, Zero, I'm going to have you work on the ground penetrating radar. Talon, just keep working on the art. Falstopia and Chris are going to continue on the walls. This is a long project. And then we have a lot more meat to feed our hungry people here. Uh, Poppy. I'm going to have you clean over craft. The base is getting real messy. What is uh, Shay doing? She's cooking over cleaning. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Just adjusted it. Critical break rim. Ray oh, yes. Let me let you eat. Now, another thing I could definitely do is forget the simple meals. Let's go with fine meals. I'm going to start with fine meals. I'm going to allow fine meals to be vegetarian and meat. And we're going to get everybody on a fine meal diet here. Uh, I think it's about time that I trade up from simple to fine. Um, it's actually... Yeah. It, it will benefit everybody. So, um, simple and fine meals for everybody. Except for Bubaloo, who needs royal meals. And, uh, yeah, let's continue on. A carver from Rego of the Lake coming to visit us. See what our base is about. I'm going to leave the rest of those animals alone for now. We don't need to keep chasing them down. Okay, we are almost done with the wall project. Shay getting work inspiration is going to be really nice. Cooking up even faster. Making the lavish meals, making fine meals, making uh, tea. All good, well, and important. Okay, I'm going to tell uh, Yanshui to no longer sow this field, letting um, these crops maybe rot out there. I don't need that much. This wall looks to be very close to being finished. Um, given the amount of time I have left in this episode, I very much like... Some of these uh, walls need to be destroyed because they're old and misplaced or whatever, but... Um, yeah, I'd very much like this to get done. It'd be very cool. Oh, but... Uh, I think this is a perfect cliffhanger. I have a significant amount of mech hives landing on me. Um, I only have like 30 seconds left in this episode, and that's about enough time to tell you to go vote. So I'll have to deal with this mech hive that, uh, well, both of them, I suppose. I'll probably be calling in backup, to be honest. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below or hop on Discord to discuss. If you are a patron of mine, just keep submitting your ideas in the Choose Your Own Adventure uh discord chat so that they can become poll items for people to vote on and i hope you enjoyed this episode and i'll catch you all next time thanks for watching everybody
Adios.